The Mi-28, Western reporting name Havoc, is a Russian attack helicopter. The first prototype made its first flight in 1982. Three more prototypes were built. Two of them were completed to improve Mi-28A standard with uprated engines. The last production standard prototype also had a moving, euro-stabilized, undernose electro-optical sensor turret and wingtip pods carrying electronic countermeasures and shaft dispensers. To meet a Russian army requirement for a new attack helicopter the Mi-28 competed against a Kamovka 50. During the trials the Mi-28 was reportedly defeated by the Ka-50. However Mill received a production order for a small batch of Mi-28 helicopters, most likely in order to prevent the manufacturer from going bankrupt. The original Mi-28 and the improved Mi-28A versions never reached mass production. The definitive production version became the further improved Mi-28N which had an added night attack capability. In 2005 Russian MOD ordered 67 Mi-28N helicopters. Series production began during the same year. Deliveries of production helicopters commenced 2008. At the time Russian Army also operated a couple of early production Mi-28N helicopters. Deliveries of all 67 units were completed in 2013. By 2020 Russian Army reportedly operated around 90 Mi-28N plus another 12 Mi-28UB combat trainers. Since 2020 the Mi-28N is no longer produced and production switched to an improved Mi-28NM version. A small number of these helicopters are in service with the Russian Army. It was planned that by 2027 a total of 98 Mi-28NM gunships will be delivered to the Russian Army. The Mi-28N, and likely the latest Mi-28NM, helicopters were widely used during the 2022 Russian invasion to Ukraine. A couple of these helicopters were shot down by Ukrainians. This attack helicopter is being offered for export customers. Some sources report that the Mi-28 is in service with Kenya. A total of 19 helicopters were scheduled to be delivered to Iraq until 2016. Algeria ordered 42 of Mi-28 NE gunships. The Mi-28 has a conventional helicopter gunship layout with the pilot in the rear and gunner in front. It is armed with a 30mm trainable cannon housed in a turret under the nose. Twin 150-round ammunition boxes are co-mounted to traverse, elevate and depress together with the gun. So a total of 300 rounds of ammunition are carried for the main gun. The gun is identical to that of Russian BMP-3 infantry fighting vehicle and uses the same ammunition. Each ammunition box can be loaded with different types of ammunition. This gunship can also carry two pods with 80mm unguided rockets and 16 anti-tank guided missiles. For anti-armor missions the Mi-28 can be equipped with Attica, Storm V or Vikra anti-tank guided missiles. The Attica missiles are radar-guided have range of up to 8 to 10 kilometers and penetrate 950 millimeters of steel armor behind explosive reactive armor, ERA. The Storm V missiles have a range of up to 7 kilometers and penetrate up to 800 millimeters of steel armor behind ERA. The Vikra laser-guided missiles have a range of up to 10 kilometers and penetrate up to 1,000 millimeters or steel armor behind ERA. These missiles are capable of destroying most main battle tanks. Crew compartment is well armored. It withstands hits from 12.7 mm armor-piercing rounds and 20 mm HEFRAG rounds. It is claimed that this helicopter cannot be defeated by a single short-range anti-aircraft missile. The Mi-28's cockpit is compatible with night vision goggles, the pilot has a head-up display and one CRT on which TV imaging can be displayed. The primary sensor package comprises the optical sights and laser rangefinder in an undernose turret. The crew are protected by energy-absorbing seats and an emergency escape system allows the crew to escape safely by parachute. A hatch in the port side, to the rear of the wing, gives access to the avionics compartment and a space large enough to accommodate two or three passengers during a combat rescue. A study made in 2011 revealed that the Mi-28 in helicopter has a mean time between failures of 8.1 hours. The venerable Mi-24 had an average failure rating of 13.9 hours. So the Mi-28, or at least helicopters produced until 2011, cannot be called reliable machines. Unit cost of the Mi-28N is around $18 million.